Good morning, my folks out there. Um, time to do a battery tray on my 69 Impala. You know, the 396 thing. Um, if you see, I mean, from back in the day, it's nice and rusty. You know, battery acid and stuff. It's original. Um, so we're going to get prepped on that. So I'll give you guys a minute here. Um, let me get prepped. But this is a new tray right here. Classic Industries. Um, 69 it was only like 20 bucks you know but it's all brand new it has all the hardware everything's good so just give me a sec I'll show you the preparation real quick okay so you want to start off with uh, getting a half inch half inch um, socket box whatever you can use a ratchet too you're gonna need it uh, first thing I always do is take off battery cables we already know about that safety first well, plus you gotta get out the battery from the tray. So, pull the battery out. Okay. Try not to set it on the ground. You know, supposedly it discharges, but who cares? I'm gonna get a new one. But, uh, see, this is what the battery tray area looks like. Acid everywhere. Uh, see, this is one of the screws here you gotta undo. There's one down there. And then there's the one right here on the uh, radiator support area. So, hold on one sec, again. Okay, so these bolts that I was showing you earlier, you gotta go from inside the wheel well. There's three. Um, one, two, and three. Easy way to go to those is come under here. 396. Uh, right here from in the fender well, you see that one that's, uh, they're all prepped already and loose. One, two, and I don't know if you can see that one in the very back. Where's that? It's hanging down right there. That's the other one. That's the hardest. You can go in front of the bumper bracket. You know, so do those. Like I said, I already have them prepped. But, um, you know, I ain't going to show you that part because, you know, you already know how to do that. So hold on. Get to that bolt under here. You can see it. Um, well, you can just go from the underside of the bumper and everything get to it so but like I said you guys can figure that part out you know I'm just trying to show you a little bit not all of it so hold on so we're gonna get that bolt that's the hardest to get to see if I can show it to you let's see here well you can kind of see it not too good but it's right there you can get to it this way See, there you can see it now just undo it all the way it'll drop down I'll get this bolt inside here So we'll take out this old battery tray. Careful with all that acid because you don't want that on your car or anything. You know, get that out. Old and new. See? Same thing. Classic Industries, like I said, just swap this bracket. I'll paint it later. I'll put it right there. No biggie. Like I said, I'm in no hurry. So, put this and put it back inside. Everything does line up nice and perfect. You can see. See the holes? You move it over. It does fit perfect. So, even down there, up on the firewall. So, I'm going to start bolting this in. Okay, so we're doing the last bolt right here. I'll come to the, the radiator support area. Like I said, it wasn't hard and easy. Just make sure it's nice and tight. It is holding the battery, so. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put this stuff out the way real quick and 
you know, put the battery back in. It's pretty simple. A nice custom um, overflow, I mean, um, radiator overflow tank. I did mount it right here. It's not in the radiator, it's right here in the little cap area. You can see, so it's not touching, don't worry. Um, but otherwise, let me uh, grab this battery. Get back off. Battery back in. And there you go. You know, put everything back together. Battery cable. I'm pretty much done. Always put this bracket on because this holds your battery, keep it from flying around if you hit a corner too fast or something, you know. Some of you like to go fast, you know. Me too. Like anybody else. Let's see, you put that down in there. So. So that's it. You know. Sunday morning. Almost probably 10 real quick. I'll try to get this uploaded before then so you guys can have some... Breakfast and some 396 battery tray in. So that's all, folks. Sunday morning. Later, folks. Okay, so everything's uh, back together. Battery cable's nice and tight. Everything's good. Tools put away. So let's uh, start this bitch up now. I don't know. It's been like four or five days since I drove it, but let's do this. One turn, probably. Let's see. Oh, almost. Okay. Straighten out that wheel. It looks ugly. There you go. But uh, everything is running perfect. morning battery tray new custom uh, overflow tank and that's all so you guys have a good Sunday afternoon morning that's all folks